Hey everyone, welcome to part 18 of my Unreal Engine tutorial series. So if you've got through the last four or five parts, we've been working up towards creating a light switch that can actually turn lights on and off inside of Unreal Engine. Finally, we're at that video. So if you've been sticking around waiting for this one, I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you learn something. All right, we're good to get going. Now, I will say this before we start, the parts that I have already gone over in previous parts, I'm not gonna be going into. So if it seems like I'm zooming past something and you haven't seen any of the previous videos, please go check them out because I will probably be going over it. We can make our project as always, first person. Make sure that starter content is on for this one because we're gonna be using a couple of the props. Make sure the blueprints are on, ray tracing doesn't matter. Tut 18, we'll call this full. All right. So we're gonna set up our props first. We are going to need a box trigger. So we can just do this. This doesn't have to be perfect. Then we are gonna go click content, starter content, props. And then we will drop in this wall lamp. We're gonna put it right here. Hit E, we're gonna rotate it 180 degrees. And then we're gonna come up here to the snapping, pull that to the wall. Now we can add in a light. I found the point light worked pretty well for this. So I'm just gonna use that again. So the point light goes right in there. Let's see if I pull this down. You just have to make it so that it's not going through the bottom. I think that that's, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. So. That's good there. And then we are going to go to our project settings or nope, sorry, not project settings. We're going to go to plugins, click built in FBX. So we need the Datasmith FBX importer hit. Yes. We're going to go reset now, save it. Now, if you haven't gotten the light switch from the last tutorial, I'll leave a link below this video as well. But all we're gonna do is we're gonna take it, so it's called Luminous Light Switch. We're gonna drag it into our content browser, hit import all, ignore that. Then I'm going to grab both of these, save them, drop this in here, rotate it 180, and then I'm gonna scale it up a bit just so that we can see it better. So I think that's pretty good. And then I'm going to click on this little piece here, make it movable as we did in the last tutorial. And now I am going to move on to the widgets. So I'm just gonna make some pretty simple widgets. This is gonna be light on. And I will go horizontal box. I'll just make this full screen so we can see it a bit better. Text, fill horizontally and vertically align. We'll make the font 70. And actually, I think I'm gonna just pull this down a little bit just so it's just so it's near the bottom of the screen and it's not blocking what we're looking at. And the text block will say press X to turn light on so we'll save all of that and then i'm going to duplicate this call it light off to turn light off save it okay the widgets are done we have the model in here now it is time to go to the level blueprints so level blueprints we are going to go Oh, there is actually one thing I need to do. Click on this box. Do I have it? Let's say type it up here, box or trigger box. So if I click on that, you'll see that it gets highlighted. Okay, so now we can get started with the blueprints. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to have this light here selected. So I'm going to set up the rotator like we did in the last one. So create a reference to the light switch and the actual part that flips on and off, not the plate. From here we go get 
actor rotation return value break rotator float plus float make this 180 and then make rotator y z and then from here we're going to drag this one off again too and we're going to go set actor rotation pop that in here so we're just going to leave this one for now and then i'm going to grab the box trigger i'll just compile and save it just to make sure but we're going to go begin actor overlap and what we're going to do here is we are going to go into a branch node and then we will go create widget so this is going to be light on we're going to promote this to a variable i'm going to rename the variable to light on add to viewport and we're just going to repeat this so for false create widget Promote to variable, rename this to light off, and add to viewport. Okay, so let's just do a little test here and see if our widget is popping up with the two options. So we'll walk over here, and I am actually going to pop this open. I always forget to do that, but I don't like using the the built-in play editor. Let's click in here. Okay, so press X, turn light on. Go back in the blueprints, check this condition off. Hit play. And press X, turn light off. Okay, so the widgets are working. From here, we are now going to create a keyboard X event pressed pop out of here and go gate and now we can add both of these into open and then we are going to right click again and go overlap and overlap now if it doesn't come up that just means that we need to click out of here and select this so now that that's selected we right click and go and overlap and then we will plug this into close so from here we are now able to choose what happens when we're inside of the trigger box and we hit X. So we're now going to make a flip-flop node. And we are going to duplicate this. And we are going to go like that. Now, I am just going to quickly comment some things in here to make it easier. So this is show widget when trigger box activates this is going to be i'm just hitting c by the way highlight the nodes and hit c this is going to be change widget when x is pressed in trigger box so that's what we're doing there this is going to be rotation calculation and let's see where we are at with this so compile save hit play and then let's work our way over to here and press x to turn light off okay so when we hit it something is happening but both of the widgets are on top of each other so let's exit out of that and go back into the level blueprints now the way that i do it is i add in a remove remove all widgets node right here and then i also remove or i also put it down here now the reason why i put it down here is because when i leave the trigger box i want it to i want it to remove any widget that's on the screen but then when i walk back in i want it to pick up from the last step so we are going to make a boolean so that it's always going to have the same one it's kind of saving the state and this one will just basically update the widget so every time we go in here we want it to change but we also want to get rid of the old one so let's try it again and i will show you 
what I mean. So press X to turn light on and off. So we're switching back and forth. That's going well. And now it is time to go set. Oh, I'm going to copy. Or actually, I'll just drag this whole thing over here. So pull this down. Oh, actually, I already set it up here. So set actor rotation. This will go in here. And this goes in here. And I think that that actually should be good. So let's see what happens if we play it now. So all that should change this time is that the switch is now flipping on and off. Okay, we're making some progress. Okay, now that that's working, I am actually going to go back one step. So I'm going to break these links. I'm going to pull this back up here. And now I am going to pull this out a little bit. And I am going to create a new Boolean. So we're going to go up to variables. I think it goes to the Boolean by default and light checker. You can call it whatever you want. So if it's going up here, it's now going to say turn the light on. So the light will be off. So we're going to set checker to we're just going to make it so that it's it's not checked here. So this goes in through here. And then I'm going to drag this in again and go set light checker, except we're going to tick it on. We're going to go down here. Okay. From here, we now need to drag this out a little bit. And then we are going to go back into our viewport and I'm going to click on the light. The reason why is because I want to reference that light. So if I right click, create a reference to point light, and we're going to drag off of this and go set visibility point light component. I think that should be fine. And I'll just drag this here. So this will be up here. And then I'm going to drag this here. That goes in and then we are going to go new visibility, new visibility. Maybe I'll actually just drag this down a little bit just so we have a little more room to work with. So this was the thing that I didn't show you in other tutorials, but this is kind of the, the one thing that we haven't gone over before. The set visibility. So we reference the point light in the same way that we're, we have this light switch here. So this is a reference to something in the scene. We want to get the actor rotation here, but we're setting the visibility here. So they are similar in a way. They're two different kinds of objects that are being referenced, but we are changing how they are being interacted with once you actually go through the blueprints with them. And from here, we can do what we were doing before. I guess I didn't have to disconnect this one. Oh, whoops. I didn't have to disconnect this one, but you know, I didn't want to make things look too complicated and I realized that I just kind of made an extra step. So if we, ah, right. So I didn't plug that in. So that's why it's great to compile it just to make sure everything is working as intended. So this is where we're at so far. So it's a bit bigger than the ones that we've done before, but I know that uh, you'll be able to keep up because we went through so many of those past tutorials. And if you are feeling stuck at all, please just let me know. I'll, I'll help you troubleshoot the problem, but let's, Let's see where it's at right now. So if we walk in and press X to turn light off. Okay, so that's looking correct. Hit X, turn light on. So it's almost done in the, the only thing that I have a problem with now is if I walk in, sometimes it won't work. Like if I say, look, light on, light off. So now it's kind of backwards where it's saying, turn the light. Oh no, I guess it kind of fixes itself. So the first one is going to be weird. So turn light on. And if you hit X, yeah, see, it'll stop there. So I guess it does fix itself after a while, but we always want it to work right off the bat. So the very last thing that we need to finish this up is we need to come over to the point light and the point light component reference, control C to copy, control V over here. And we can't plug this directly in here, but we want to check on if the light is visible. So we come here. If it's true, this happens. If it's false, this happens. Come down here, get 
visible. That's all you have to do. So this is going to be referencing if the light is visible. So instead of having a another Boolean that's going to be checking that, in this one, we are just going to make it so that you can plug this in. And then if it's true, false, works very well. The problem with this is, though, is that if this is visible and it's true, now we are saying turn the light on to hit X. So it's flipped. So we can actually just do this. We'll just rearrange that. Break the link. Break the link. Put this back in there. And I believe that this is now redundant. So we don't need this. So we should be able to just link this up. Link that up. New visibility. And maybe we'll clean this up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to just come here and go get light visibility and remove widget when leaving box. Only activate X when in box so i might go a little overboard with the comments but i am used to doing a little bit of computer code i wasn't no, i didn't get too far into it but enough that i kind of understand how blueprints are working under the hood at least in the sense of like what all these the branch nodes mean and things like that so uh, i did get used to always commenting on things because it's it's not only good for yourself if you're looking back on a project but also if you are collaborating with people and you want them to know exactly what you're doing at this time because someone may just look at that and go i'm not really sure exactly what he was you know trying to get with this but then just to have this it kind of says oh okay so that's that's what he was doing in this certain area but you know what i think it's done now so let's give this one more try let's walk up so turn the light off turn it on off let's walk out so when we walk back in it should say off flip it on and back and forth let's hit on now if we walk in here and it still says on then we're good all right so there it is now some people may say that you're not supposed to do this in the level blueprints you should be making a specific blueprint for the object they're technically right but i think for just learning right now this is really all we need to get into we will be getting into the object blueprints soon enough but for now you should be really happy with what you just did so this was the first I'd say medium size Unreal Engine project that you're going to be doing in this course. So it's definitely not a big project by any stretch of the imagination, but I think that this is the first somewhat hard tutorial that you'll be doing with Unreal Engine. So if you made it this far, congratulations. If you are just checking out the course for the first time, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel and also like the video. I have many more videos like this coming and we are going to be getting into how to create buttons and then I'll also change materials with those buttons. So that's the next thing that we're going to be focusing on. And if you think that sounds interesting, I'd really appreciate it if I could see you in those videos. For everyone that has been watching the course, I just want to say thank you very much. It's been a ton of fun to make the videos. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment below. Besides that, I hope you have a great day, a great night, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.